My name's Linda Higgs. Um, I'm one of the volunteers here. I'm a friend of Cannon Hall, and this is the glorious walled garden dating back to 1760 that we have here, right in the middle of the countryside near Barnsley. We have a list dated 1761, and on that list there were only five pears, which is for the walled garden. Um, now those pears were cooking pears, which were the original old pears. They were designed for cooking. You didn't eat them. You couldn't eat them raw. Um, so I'm intent on getting some of those back if I can. Um, but since then, and particularly in the 19th century, um, somebody started collecting different varieties, different cultivars of pears. And we now have 38 different cultivars um, of pears, which is quite unique, I think, certainly for the north because pears don't grow very well up here. Um, and we have about 60 trees, 60 pear trees. We also have heritage apples. I am Richard Emerson. I'm the chair of the Friends of Cannon Hall Museum Park and Gardens. Pears were kind of a, a luxury item, um, along with pineapples that were grown here and grapes and all sorts of uh, exotic fruits. And uh, the walled garden, um, in effect, had to provide all the uh, fresh fruit and flowers and everything for the for the house throughout the year. It's um, a one-upmanship one kind of thing in the, in the local area. You have a nice big house, there's a display house just to the side of us which is built specifically to show off the produce, particularly pineapples, which were grown here in quantity and we even have a pinery which again was there to, to ripen them and to uh, to display them. Um, we've also got um, John Spencer who uh, developed the site and the park and extended the hall in uh, the mid, early and mid 1700s. Went on his European tour and uh, brought some grape seeds back from Greece. Gave them to the gardeners and said uh, grow these for me. There is a 200 year old grapevine growing in one of our greenhouses and there were many more in the past, um, which is now a recognised variety, the Cannon Hall Muscat grape. Uh, my name is uh, Phil Rainford. Uh, I'm retired, uh, but I've had a, a lifelong interest in old uh, fruit varieties. And I'm a member of uh, two or three different orchard groups and we're trying to rescue uh, all varieties of apples and pears in the main. Pears, pears were much more uh, popular in walled gardens in the past uh, than they are today. If you go back to the, the 1600s uh, and 1700s, uh, you find that they predominate uh, over apples. But this was the pride and joy of the, um, in 1760, John Spencer owned the place and he spent about two million improving the landscape, building the walls, building this walk garden and building a pinery for his pineapples, which was the height of fashion then. And he proudly says in his diary, which you can still read in Barnsley archives, um, cut my first pineapple out of the hothouse in 1760, October the 23rd. If you look in the supermarkets, you'll possibly see perhaps three pears, um, three different varieties of pears. Now here we have about 38. There might be more because we have one or two pear trees that are not yet identified. They're notoriously difficult to identify. I'm Martin, I'm one of Garners here. I've, I've been here about 18 years now. Rare varieties of pears, you'll there's pears here, you're not seeing shops at all. Uh, there's, some really, uh, there's some rare varieties in the States, one of the best collections of pears in, uh, in England, especially Northern England. I do know that one or two may not have been uh, positively identified as yet, so we may well have amongst this collection one or two uh, missing varieties. So that's of great interest. What we're doing is, uh, if, if we can't readily identify a pear variety, we're now sending leaves off for DNA testing. 
And more often than not, we're finding that uh, the pairs that we're sending down aren't in the collection. Uh, they're unique, in other words. You know, if people come here and they've, they've never seen these types of pairs, and because we've, then when we have paired here, we have this pear tasting table, and people can't believe how, how different they taste at pears you buy in shops. Because uh, it's all organic, we don't, don't use no chemicals. There's one called Pete Maston Duchess, that's very nice juicy pear, and there's one, there's one called Triumph de Vienne, that's, that is really nice, and we just got one of those. And you'll, you'll, you'll never, you, I've never seen those in shops. And Hiya, uh, I'm Dan, uh, I'm one of gardeners here at Cannonore Museum, Park and Gardens. Uh, my job entails really uh, looking after and maintaining uh, all the grounds here at Cannonore Museum, uh, including the wall garden. Uh, it's it's been maintained to a high standard for its historical value because some of them they date back to 300 years old. Most interesting thing about working here for me is uh, looking after the volunteers and uh, looking after the historical fruit collection. Uh, my name's Kath Kelly. Um, I took voluntary early redundancy from a job that I did in IT for schools um, about three years ago, and then nine months ago, I saw um, an advert for volunteers for here and it was a park I'd always enjoyed as a child and with my own child and as a grown-up and things so I thought I'd try and give a bit back I suppose. Yeah I mean I think the pear trees as I've discovered is what what it's sort of renowned for in a way but then apparently they've had a the rhododendrons as well there's some quite really old ones of those and then I think they had a, a tree uh, survey done and they found a really old magnolia here that they think might be the oldest in the country apparently. And it's absolutely unique to have that many particularly this far north um, and we're doing our best to hold on to them or replace them if, if need be. But we, can, we keep trying to keep and restore this, this pear collection. It is important. As I say, it's one of the most northerly sites for an old pear collection. Well, it, it's a sense of history, really. Uh, we, uh, uh, we are actually um, tasting for the first time you know, some of these uh, lost varieties and the, the, some wonderful flavours.